What you're going to need is you're going to need thread, scissors, a needle, and the piece of fabric that you're working on or practicing with. Let's get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to thread my needle and knot it. Since I don't have button craft thread, which is thicker, I'm going to use regular thread. And I'm just going to double it at the ends instead of using a single thread. And I'm going to double knot it because my fabric, my thread has been going through my fabric. And I don't want any more mistakes. I'm going to bring the needle through the fabric. And I'm going to make a stitch line right next to it. But I'm not going to go all the way through. As so. At this point, you can go ahead and uh, cut the needle off because you don't need the needle anymore. Just needed it to anchor the fabric. The next thing that you're going to do is with your hand that you're more comfortable with. I'm right handed so I'm going to use my right hand for the loop. I'm going to take my right hand that's in the loop and I'm going to take my other hand on the uh, string or the tail as you would call it and I'm going to bring the tail in through the loop and I'm going to pull it creating my first chain and now I'm going to repeat the process over and over again until I make a thread chain. Once you get a little bit more comfortable, you'll be a little faster. But right now, I'm just going a little bit slow so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. As you can see, my thread chain is looking pretty good. And once you reach your desired length, you can just go ahead and make your final loop. By doing this, taking the end of your There you go, like that. Now I'm going to show you how to do it the fast way on your sewing machine. I use the Singer Confidence and I already have my machine ready on a zigzag stitch with the width at 5.0 and the spacing at 2.0. My machine is already threaded and ready to go. You're going to need at least four strands 
to do this on your sewing machine. I'm going to place my thread in the middle and give it a little space for me to pull it at the top over here. And I'm going to put my presser foot down and go ahead and get started. And there we go. This is the quick cut and dry way to do this on your sewing machine. This way is way faster if you ask my opinion. But it's nothing wrong with learning to do it the old school way or the more tedious way on learning how to make a thread chain. I hope you guys enjoyed my videos. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Blessings.